Did you know that 5Ds is not the only era that introduces first edition booster packs that are exclusive to the 10s? In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Duelist Pack Collection 10. This 10 has exclusive first edition packs that don't exist anywhere else, not even in booster boxes. Let's dive right in. Alright, so this 10 was released on March 11th, 2008, and it came in two variants, a green version and a blue version. The green version is not very expensive. It contains five packs on the inside, one Zane Truesdale, two Jaden Yuki number threes, and then two Jesse Anderson packs. It also includes one ultra rare card injector. In the blue tin, however, the cards are completely different. They don't have card injector as a promo card, but what they do have is one Jaden Yuki number one booster pack, Jaden Yuki number two, one Chas Princeton, one Aster Phoenix, and the special contents in here are the two first edition Zane Truesdale booster packs. So like I said in the intro, this is the only place you can get first edition Zane Truesdale packs. If you look online, you'll find that they are extremely scarce. They don't ever pop up for sale and that's because they never existed in booster boxes. This is the only place you can get them and because of this, the contents on the inside are pretty exclusive and very hard to come by. The two most expensive cards are the ultra rare that comes out of this set, which is Infernal Dragon. The reason is because this is the first printing of this card, but not only that, it's also in first edition. And again, you have that rarity of being a tin exclusive. This makes this card extremely hard to come by and it goes for around the $27 to $30 in near mint. The second card is one that you might think would be puzzling because it's only a rare, but what's interesting is that this is the first printing of the alternate art of Cyber Dragon. So you know the Cyber Dragon that was recently released in the OTS packs as an ultimate rare? This artwork was originally released in the Duelist Pack Truth set in first edition as a rare. Now this card goes for $30 on Troll and Toad in near mint. That is insane. I actually bought a light play copy for $15 just for this video because I could not even find a really near mint copy of this card. It is extremely hard to come by and this card is actually so unique. It's arguably one of the most expensive rares out there aside from TP1 and TP2. I just think that's such a cool nuance and I think that's such a cool aspect of this tin. And I'm really glad that because of this price tag, I can be confident that the collector community also shares the same sentiments. They also really appreciate the fact that this is the first printing of this Cyber Dragon as well as one of the rarest ones. But these two are not the only cards that were first introduced into the TCG via Duelist Pack Zane. They also introduced Fusion Guard, Return Soul, Ruthless Denial, and Damage Polarizer. All of which are the super rares and the ultra rares from this set. So that makes them have a little bit more value and more collectability than the other cards in this set because everything else is just a reprint and it existed in a core set before this. But I think these six cards are actually so badass. I think that they are such a cool aspect of this tin and this booster pack itself. But that's pretty much it in terms of the overview. What I wanna do now is actually take you to my desk and we can unbox this tin together. Let's dive right in. All right, so this is the Duelist Pack 10. This is actually one of the coolest tins that, in my opinion, exists. So like I said, the main reason that this tin is expensive is because of the sticker right here, which is the first look at Duelist Pack Zane. Again, this is the only place to get first edition cards. So I figured why not just open her up because what I'm trying to do is actually find this card in pack fresh condition. And this one doesn't have a sticker, so I figured this would be the one that I would open. Uh, I didn't really check for conditions too much. All right, let's open her up. What? DL5. What? I didn't know there was a promo card in here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be in here. Huh. Okay, this is definitely not supposed to be in here. I, I have no idea why this is in here because every other opening that I've seen never included this. So I'm not sure if Konami decided to toss it in in a penny sleeve. It's definitely kind of weird. Okay, well, there's a Duelist Pack Collection guide, but we're not here to read. All right, so Tin aside, card aside, lid aside. Let's get into the actual pack. So we have Duelist Pack Jaden Yuki, uh, Chaz Princeton, another Yuki 2. And then we have 
Aster Phoenix, and then Duelist Pack, Zane Truesdale. Now, these guys are not as expensive because these have booster boxes, right? So the first edition booster box of this goes for crazy money. And that's because the Arm Dragon in here is the first printing. This one also goes for crazy money because the cover card also goes for a lot of money. And then these guys are actually not as well loved, but these guys are, are crazy in first edition. Unlimited, they're not really worth much, so I'm not even gonna really open them. These guys, I am definitely gonna open because these are very, very expensive packs. I think I sold some of these for like 40 50 dollars a pop, which is kind of insane for duelist packs, you know what I mean? And the best card in here is a rare. I mean, that, that cyber dragon goes for crazy money. Here, we are hoping to get oh, cyber barrier dragon. <laughs> Okay, close. We're getting there. We're close. <laughs> we actually don't want to pull a hollow here. Like, I, I hope we don't pull a hollow. I really want that Cyber Dragon. I know I paid like for an MP copy, I paid like 15 bucks, which is like insane. <laughs> no, they gave me two of the same damn card. What is this? <laughs> damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, let's just open these up, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Why not? That was kind of disappointing. VW. Ooh, we got a hollow. We have a Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Aquanios. Again, like these cards and these packs are, are really not too loved because a lot of them, they didn't introduce new cards, right? Like these are reprint cards. Some of them did introduce. So like, for example, like the Duelist Pack Zane, there are five cards in there that are the first time you've ever seen them in the TCG. But for the most part, they're all reprint packs. So they're not as favored, if that makes sense, compared to other like core sets. But I figured I'll bring this to you guys because it is a kind of a unique product. And this is the only tin other than the four tins from 5Ds that includes first edition packs on the inside. And that's the only place to get the first edition versions of that said pack. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know your thoughts on this tin below. If you want to support the channel further, I have a Patreon and you can also use the links in the description to shop. You can pick yourself up your own Gardner binder that I make myself. They're extremely high quality. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.